Hey everyone, it's Lila, and today I'm doing a video on vintage, old Hollywood glamour. As you can tell, that's kind of the theme right now. So I'm just going to be showing you a few vintage handbags that I have over here, and a few shirts that I thought look sort of vintage and were cute and stuff. And as you can see, my shoes back there, just um, some shoes for... Uh, for you guys to see and stuff. So what I'm actually wearing right now, of course it's over the top. I mean, I wouldn't actually wear this out, but I just thought it fit the theme well, and it's something fun too, since Halloween is actually pretty close. But uh, yeah, anyway, I got this um, headband. This is actually a headband, and it has um, pearls on it and a little net and some feathers and a big flower and I believe I actually got this from the store Dillard's I, th I think I'm pretty sure I got from it and um, basically I just curled my hair a little bit and my hair is actually really long so I pinned it up in the back to give it that short effect sort of and I also braided it right here to hide my um to hide the band from my headband. <laughs> and the dress I got, this dress, um, it's actually Marilyn Monroe inspired and it's pleated. And uh, this is actually a real, um, real mink fur, um, coat thing, what do you call it? Little wrap. <laughs> it's actually, it's my mom's. So everything, most of the things here that are actually vintage are my mother's. So they're, you know, genuinely vintage. But I'll show you the little outfit I'm wearing right now. I'm also wearing guest heels and here's the um, whole outfit. And fake pearls of course. So here's the dress. Yeah. The heels. And um here's with the fur coat and here's without. It's actually a um halter back out dress like the one she had from the seven year itch. And of course, um, white heels, these are guests. It's really flowy and it's a really fun dress and stuff. It's not a costume dress. This is an actual dress that you buy and you wear and stuff. But I just, I can't really remember the story because my mother actually picked it out for me. <laughs> she thought it'd be perfect and I actually have to get it tailored a little bit to fit me a bit better. But uh, yeah, there's the, the dress, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some coats that I got. So, I uh, yes, I turned my towel rack into a hanger rack thing, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, here's another fur coat, which is, um, it's real fur. Uh, I think it's mink, I'm not really sure. But, um, let me take the hanger off. Here's the tag. It's from Revlon. I'm, I don't know if I'm saying it right. I'm pretty sure this is like Revlon. And it says Paris, New York. And it's beautiful and it's so soft and comfortable. And I it on my face real quick. And it's kind of, it's cropped a little short. So this is how it looks. Yep, and then there's that. And then I always take care of my furs. I put them up in um, the cases they come in and uh, make sure they're well taken care of. Well, yeah. And uh, let's grab something else. Come over here. Let's see, how about another dress? Here's one dress. I, I need to get it fixed. And, um, it's missing a few pearls on it. A few things are missing. And, uh, I need to get it fixed. But it's a really, really pretty, um, again, halter neck dress. And it's really tight fitting too. And it has these, like, beautiful little, almost antique looking, um, I think, like, rhinestones and j little gems on it stuff so it's really really cute and old Hollywood looking. Oh and another thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick oops. 
It's like a really huge belt. <laughs> and it's from Jessica Simpson. She makes these. And um, it's like a really big uh, gold belt. And the reason why I thought this would be like vintage, sort of, or Hollywood inspired, is because it will go great with any plain dress you have. And this will really just bring it out and also accentuate your waist, make it look smaller. Same thing with this one, just a regular black belt with a sequins on it for your waist. So that looked really cute. Let's grab some of this. Alright, and this bag here. This is um a real this is a real Prada bag and um, my mom I don't know if you can see the sign yeah, it's Prada bag and it's my mother's and she bought this how long ago really not sure how long ago but yeah it has two compartments on it and it's it's pretty plain but it's really pretty. Yeah, here's a vintage bag. And let's grab another one now. These two are sort of my favorites because they really have that old Hollywood vintage theme because they're like literally vintage purses. Now, the first one I will show you guys is this one. Now, I know some people may think it's like ugly looking, but I just thought it was really cute even though it looks sort of like a briefcase. It would be something really cute for work or even for school, you know. And it also reminds me of in Japan, the type of um, briefcases they take to school with them. So yeah, I just thought it was really cute. <laughs> and my the other bag. I want to show you guys. It's one of my favorites. It's just like so darling looking, so cute. And it has this beautiful gold accent chain. This is all white and it's cute. It opens up, you just turn this, open it. And yeah, and um, this is by, look on the inside, Gianni Bernini. I hope I'm saying it right. Gianni Bernini. So yeah, it's a, it's a really cute purse. I can actually wear this right now. It actually kind of match. It's cute. All right. Now next, I'm going to move on to a few shoes. Let's do some shoes. Okay. Well, these shoes are by Gianni Bini. You can see it right. <laughs> and they're just they're like really adorable and they're like they do have that vintage sort of feel they remind me of the time um, in this one picture Marilyn was wearing these um, see-through type of shoes like this type of material and it reminded me of that and it has this beautiful beige color to it and it's just it ties really well with all the colors and it's just a really beautiful pair of shoes um, next these by Vince Camuto. I thought that these were just so adorable, and especially since it's been getting cold lately, since you know fall and all of that, I thought this would be kind of perfect because um it has this beautiful little fur accent right here, and it has um you know this little like tie up and uh, this right here. No. I just think that they're they're just really cute, but you know it depends on your taste and your style. But um, I really like them. And uh, a new pair that I just like I just got are these. I thought they were so cute because they they sort of remind me of a, a dress. So they're like really dressy shoes. They remind me of like a dress with ruffles. They have pretty little rhinestones on it, and they're suede. And they're like the perfect height, not really too tall, not too short platform. And a beautiful gray color. They're just really cute. I have it more than this. But uh, I think it's fun to wear them. Uh, okay. Now, this pair right here. These are by Antonio Milani. 
and I just thought they were really cute because of these, um, they have big rose accents in the front, and it's just, they're just really pretty and fun looking heels, like these. So next, these are by Jessica Simpson. I, I like a lot of her clothes that she makes. By Jessica Simpson, I don't know if you can see them that well. They have this beautiful little print on them, sort of like an artistic type of print, not really sure what it is, <laughs> but um, yeah, gold buckles on them, gold accent buckles, um, and they're just off, they're just white, and they're wedges, so they're really comfortable too, and they're just really pretty, and sort of vintage looking, so, yep, those. Next shoes I'm going to show you are by, these are by Nina Sky, or Nina New York, actually, sorry, Nina New York, and these are just really glitzy and really old Hollywood glamour, they have um, big gems and rhinestones in the front, really sparkly and sequins on them, this beautiful silver color. And these are just like adorable. I really like these. Especially when you're trying to be flashy. Mm. Perfect. Let's see another pair. These are also by Nina New York. And I'm pretty sure her name is just Nina. I think New York. Whatever. But um, yeah, these have um, rhinestones all down the front. Which is uh, really pretty and again glamorous and flashy. It has this beautiful, like, snakeskin like material. You can see it. And um, the, the heel part is also very shiny. It has that, like, almost metallic like um, heel. And these are just, like, really pretty. I like these a lot. Let's see. Okay. These are picked for fall and things like that. They're just really pretty. They're suede and they're really warm <laughs> too. And yeah, and they have this um, cute little um, zipper like accent in the back. It's not an actual zipper though. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these are by BCBG. And they're just really cute. <laughs> And um, here's a pair. Not sure if I show you guys these by um Steve Madden. They have um this is like really my favorite like party pair type of shoes like to go out at night or something. This is perfect. They have these beautiful little gold round um studs on them, and uh, they're suede. They're black suede. And the heel part is uh, has a nice material. It's shiny, pretty shiny. So uh, yeah, and these are just really cute, and they're fun. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you guys a few dresses and skirts. Here's the first dress. Now I know this might sort of look like something you'd wear to prom or whatever, but um, it has a sort of like a sweetheart neckline, not really though. It's really subtle actually, and um, it has a little studs at the bottom, so accent. They look. Hey guys, it's Isla, and another vintage glamour item I'd like to show you is this. Um, over uh, this sheer overcoat type, and uh, it's like lacy. It's not really lacy. It has a really pretty pattern to it, and as you can see, it's very sheer, and it's just really pretty, and I like it a lot. <laughs> and here is one of my favorite skirts. Actually, it's a really gorgeous pencil skirt. And when you put it on the bottom, actually gets a bit tighter, so it gives you like a really pretty shape. And uh, there's black sequins on the bottom. If you can see that. And uh, yeah, 
skirts is really pretty and I love pencil skirts. They just give you an amazing shape. So, yeah. Now, these are a pair of leggings I got. And these are pretty, um, as my mom would say, risque. They're pretty out there. They have, um, on uh, the sides, they have all leather. Going all the way down and all the way up also. So, of course, if you wear these, it's best to, um, wear a shirt that kind of goes over that area. Unless, you know, you like to wear your stuff like that, then go for it. It'll look cute anyway. <laughs> and, um, yeah. That is all I'll show you guys right now. Oh, one more thing. These shoes by Gianni Beanie. They're, they have like a chunky heel, so they sort of remind me of something that would be sort of vintage and old fashioned like. So I'm going to show you guys this. In the, they have a buckle on it. And I just thought these were really cute. And uh, yeah. And uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys real quick that I just bought. It just came in the mail from this amazing, amazing woman who makes these. These are for my work. Um, it's actually. Um, uh, makeup, um, a makeup roll and a makeup holder make for makeup brushes and stuff. Show you guys how you put it on real quick. Basically, some basically like an apron type thing, and it has a, a lot of different size pockets and slots, and it has this beautiful leopard print and hot pink up here. So, and it ties in the back. So, this is great for work if you're a makeup artist. Then um, I definitely suggest you get one of these. I'll leave the link down below where you can order one where I ordered one. So yeah. And basically this is the end of my Hollywood glamour slash vintage fashion video that I wanted to share with you guys. I'll be making a lot more videos soon. And if you'd like a tutorial of anything, you already know what to do. All you have to do is ask. And I will definitely make one <laughs> for you. And, uh, yeah. So I'll leave all the designers in the description. And, um, yeah. So uh, I'll see you guys next video. Alright. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I'm running for Queen of the Web or King of the Web. I'll leave my link down below where you can go and vote for me if you like my videos. And if you want to. Then I'd really appreciate that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I'll make another video uh, with more information on that for you guys. So uh, yeah, I run in every election, and yeah, I'll tell you guys more info about that in the next video. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. Make sure you get in contact with me. Comment, rate, subscribe to me, and uh, yeah, I really love you guys. Bye.